Hi, this is Chanel with DTools Cloud, and today we're excited to share our new project management suite of features. These new capabilities extend the value of DTools Cloud beyond the sales team to include project managers and technicians. This is a huge milestone for us because now we offer our clients a complete browser-based end-to-end solution to run their business. I'll be showing you all the functionality we've added under the project management umbrella and how easy it is to hit the ground running. So let's dive in. What you're looking at here is my project Kanban board used to track project status. And these cards represent signed contracts and I can drag and drop to easily move projects through each stage. Next, I'm going to give you an example of the sports bar and lounge and we'll build out our project plan and show you how you might want to manage the details of this project. So as you approach these new project management features, it's important to remember that you have the option to keep it simple and just schedule a technician to be on site for the day, knowing that it's powerful enough to manage more complex projects as well. All right, so from the project summary, let's hop into manage our project plan. So you initially land on the overview tab and this is where you can see your progress at a glance. You can see how many tasks are completed and the impact that it has on labor. You have visibility into item status and can see the percentage of equipment ordered and installed. Nice, right? Then below you get a burn up chart that tracks actual versus budgeted hours. So it's going to be really easy for project managers to see the hours remaining and plan accordingly. Also, the graph will turn red if you go over your budgeted hours. So love that. And then to the right, you can see a breakdown of labor usage by the different types of labor sold. Now from here, you have a couple workflow options depending on how you like to work. First, you can go straight to the schedule and then just simply pick a day and add a resource to be on site. So we'll ask Leanne to be on site for this project today, tomorrow, and the following day as well and add her to the schedule. I wanted to show you this workflow first so you don't feel as if you need to create a bunch of tasks just to add someone to the schedule. Your technician may know exactly what's required and adding them directly to the schedule is enough. So far so good? Okay. This workflow is also key because it's important to remember that you schedule people first. Then, if you want, you can add tasks from your project plan. Then, as we continue to review the schedule, you can also avoid double booking by seeing other project assignments and resource availability, helping you better manage scheduling conflicts. Okay. So the second workflow, which is more my style, is to start by creating tasks that define my project plan. And you create task groups. For example, I've grouped my tasks by phase. I have rough in, trim, and finish. But you can group tasks however you want. So just simply edit the name and then you'll add a task to your project plan. Let's say we'll invoice rough in completion and add that task. Again, please keep in mind that you don't have to get this granular with your tasks. It's just my preference. The task can be as simple as mount TV and hook up soundbar. So just add a list of what needs to get done. Now at this stage, you could add a target date if you'd like. If you know the resource that's going to fulfill this task, assign it now. You can also create checklist items. And think of checklists as subtasks. There are a list of additional items that you can provide to help boost success um, when your technician's in the field. 
All right. So create your project plan and then you can also reorganize these tasks at any time just by dragging and dropping and I just love doing this okay <laughs> now let's explore my prep and mobilize task for all those project managers who want to add more detail all right so I have a description I have a checklist and then in the items section this is where you add products from the project to your task some may call this a pick list um, and it's really nice because the entire bill of materials is going to come up and you have a number of filtering options I'm going to filter by phase since this is a rough in task and I'll select all my products and click finish adding to add them to my tasks all right so this is really nice because now your technician knows exactly what's needed and can update the status of these products from the field so keeping them organized while bridging the gap between the field and the office Okay, and then in the attachments section, you can browse project attachments. And this is really awesome because all the rich documentation that was captured during the sales process is available here for you to associate to your tasks. And then lastly, you have that collaborative workflow coming through to tasks as well. So you could at mention your teammates to communicate internally um, in real time. Fantastic. So that's the task. And I'm going to just pop over to the schedule and add that task to, it's that one, to Coco and put that on the schedule all right so on to items this is a very powerful view because you again can see all the equipment in this project and you have those same filtering options available here as well so I will go ahead and filter Let's just say we'll filter down to check out what's in the lounge. And these speakers are unordered. However, from here, I can create a purchase order. So staying organized in regards to your equipment just got a whole lot easier. We've also added some new install statuses, stage, picked, and installed to now provide complete item status. Yay! As a project manager, you always want to know the status of the items in your project, and this view provides a lot of visibility. Next, let's discuss time tracking. So as your field users clock in and out of projects, their time is logged here. And now project managers can see how much time is being spent and track it on a project specific basis and this is the perfect time for me to switch to a field user and show you the installer view and while we're there we'll cover attachments and activity okay so now we're looking at the field user view and it's formatted for their phone or tablet and they can only access information for projects that they're assigned to the menu at the bottom shows the dashboard, hours, tasks, schedule, and projects. So from the dashboard, I can see what's scheduled for today and I'm ready to clock in to the project and start my task. And simply select the task to view all the detail that we added when we were creating it. We can look at the description. I could see my checklist items and let's complete those as well as update item status from the field so this is what's going to affect your project reports is when the status of the items change from the field it's reflected back into the application 
all right and then below they have access to those attachments any images that you've included and then they also have that collaboration piece this quick communication so if anything critical pops up they could at mention their project manager possibly take a picture and then just make a comment all right so let's mark this task as completed now on the hours tab this is where I track my time across multiple projects tasks allow me to view all my tasks schedule is just that this is where I can view my schedule for the week and projects project shows me all the projects that I'm associated to um, from here your technician can actually drill down and see the project plan they could review the activities they could check out the site details now the address is also Google Maps hyperlinked to help them get to the job site and they could also view additional attachments now I'm going to go ahead and clock out of this project I will sign out as my technician and then I'll be logging back in as an office user so that you can see my time entry and how it's pulled back into the application from the field and here it is it wasn't much time we weren't there for long but just wanted to show you what that relationship is and then let's go back to our overview report to see what has changed we have updated our item status here and we've also completed a task so now project managers can easily track and manage the progress of the project to completion as a recap we've reviewed how to create tasks and checklists how to add resources to the schedule managed item status created a time entry and checked out our installer mobile view i really hope you're excited to roll out these new project management features to your team as always we look forward to hearing your feedback as we continue to build and improve on our software thank you